parents, y'all got to do better. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Um, also get the book Beating Black and Blue. Download the podcast, the B. Tatum Show podcast on all podcasts and platforms. If you want to be on the text message list, text Tatum to 53445. Text Tatum to 53445. Text Tatum to 53445. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to show this video. I watched it, and it's mortifying. I'm not going to show this video because I think that it is incredibly troubling to to watch it so i'm not gonna show it you can put to get two and two together to see what's about to happen this young girl they gotta be kids she got a gun here and she got a finger on the trigger and they playing with the gun in the bathroom she shoots her brother on accident and i think in a full panic she shoots herself because she knows she messed up and so she ended up shooting herself this is very, very sad. And I would say, just like the person who captioned it here, you got to teach your children and get them, in, if you're going to have them around the house, you need to teach your children about firearm safety. You need to teach them about firearms, how they function, how they work. Get them exposed to it. Let them let them hold it. Let them Let them train with it as a responsible person so that they don't get in a situation where they feel like we need to sneak it or when they have them, they're in possession of it. They don't go through the steps in order to be safe with it. You know, me and my 11 year old son, you know, he'll be 12 this year, but man, we go to the range. I take him there. I show him the guns. I show him, I show him safety. Whenever he want to shoot him, we could, we'll go out. We'll shoot them in a safe environment. We'll go over gun safety every single time. You know, finger on the slide. Don't ever put your finger on the trigger. Even with toy guns, he has the same principles. Don't point it at nothing you don't want to destroy. Keep your finger on the slide. All of these things you teach your children. And I feel like you will mitigate situations like this from happening. Because I don't believe. Now, obviously, I keep my gun secure. But I don't believe my son will be interested in doing stuff like this. Why? Because he already can have access to it by just asking me. Daddy, I want to see this one. Daddy, I want to see this one. Daddy, I want to see this one. Clear it out. Clean it out. We go over the safety together. Make sure it's dry. And within my presence, he can do certain things with it. And when we go to the range, we do the same thing. We go through safety, 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 safety. And therefore, when he's not in my presence and he stumbles across a real firearm, whether it be somebody else's or not, he understands safety. And therefore, even if another kid would be playing with it or whatever, he will be able to show them a safe way to disarm it. And at least he'll know that he shouldn't be touching it without an adult present. But if you don't teach your kids these things and they get caught up in the culture, in the lifestyle, in the rap music, hip hop, and all this other stuff, they're more likely to do something like this. And this is very, very sad and troubling that a, that two young lives were lost. And the parents walked in on it. I want y'all to know that. I may put the video in the in the description section. The parents walked in on this. You know, they, they walked in on their babies laying there with gunshot wounds to the head. But it is very, very sad. And I just thought I'd make a video because I want to put information out there to help people. If you got these things around your house, you need to teach your children about them. If not, they should be secured. I mean, they should always, always be relatively secured, right? When I say relatively, you know, you can have them out of reach and not secured. And let me just say this. I think for the dummies out here, Secure your weapons, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just can't. Because somebody be saying something about be tatering and secure your weapon. It's just that at some point, you may need you may need it. Having it in a safe, in a lockbox, in a room, down the hallway, ain't going to help you when the rubber hit the road. So you secure your weapons for the people who are uninformed.
And for everybody else that know what I'm talking about, you do what you need to do. But teach your children about gun safety at an early age. They only want to play with the things because it's taboo. If you show them, you let them, you let them, you know, in a safe environment, you let them uh, hold it, teach them about functionality, stuff like that. They will be less inclined to feel like they want to go and play with it and do all this stuff with it. They feel less compelled, in my opinion. Now, I'm not giving anybody advice on what to do, whether to do what you do what you think is best for your family. I'm not trying to tell you to let your kids use gun because then y'all be blaming Brandon Tatum. Um, I'm only talking to people that's, that are smart and that have common sense and that understand firearms and understand firearm safety. Um, but it, it is it is better for you to raise your children to be aware of these things. Show them how to load. Show them how to, how to uh, you know, uh, make sure it's unloaded. Teach them. Drill it in their head about safety, safety, safety. I think if her parents would have been telling her, never point that at anybody. Make sure it don't have nothing in the chamber. If you ever get a hold of a gun, make sure there's no round in the chamber. You should not be operating or holding a gun without knowing the status. Is there is it live or is it, you know, is there nothing in the chamber? So, very sad, man. Very, very sad. I think it, it should teach us all a lesson. We need to make sure that we are aware of this stuff. All right? Love you guys. I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out.